Hey YouTube, this is Diva Kiki. I am coming to you all with a small um, video. Um, this is, well, I'm just going to talk about how my birthday weekend went. Um, I turned 35 on February the 4th and um, I didn't really do anything. I, I took myself to Red Lobster um, while my son was in school. And um, then Saturday after his basketball game, I drove to Richmond. Um, I live about uh, two hours from Richmond, but the, the way I drive, I kind of get there in like an hour and a half. If traffic is not bad, I can get there in an hour and 15. And with them changing the speed limit to 70 on that stretch now, it works perfect. So now I really, you know, won't get a ticket. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm just coming to you, letting you know how my birthday weekend went. I went to Richmond. I um, met with um, some college girlfriends of mine. Um, we went, well, me and one of my girlfriends went out to dinner. She was my roommate in college. So, um, we had a lot of catching up to do cause we hadn't seen each other, um, in two years since I had been there. Um, since me and my mom had went to stay with her during, um, the funeral for, for my son's father. So I hadn't seen her in two years. So it was good to see her. She's doing good. Um, <laughs> She's um, dealing with a couple of men in her life, um, not just one, but I'll say a couple. <laughs> um, she told me about a couple that couple of them that she um, went through in a couple of years. Um, yeah, um, but uh, she's still single too, so she's not married. Um, one of our other college friends had gotten married, but now she's divorced. Um, they didn't stay married that long. Um, that's my other college friend. Um, and then one other one didn't go out to eat with us. We went to, we went out to eat on Saturday night. Um, we were going to this restaurant called Maggiano's. I think that's what you call it. There was an hour and 15 minute wait and I didn't get to Richmond until about four o'clock, a little before four o'clock. I lied, I was about three 30. So we sat in her apartment, chatted for a while. Then we left and went to Maggiano's and waited over an hour. I know we had to been waiting for more than an hour and, and 50, 55 minutes. The lady said it was going to be an hour and 55 minute wait. We did not make reservations. Therefore, we had to wait. It was jam packed. Got there, waited, me and her talking, catching up while we're waiting. Feet hurting, standing up, nowhere to sit. So she went to check and see how long it was going to be. Came back. The lady said an hour. So you're talking about another hour on top of our of, of us already waiting about two hours. So we decided to leave. It was like after eight then. So we left and then we went to Olive Garden, my favorite Italian restaurant. Maggiato, Maggiato's is a f Italian restaurant also. But I was like, I don't feel like waiting in the line again for a, another place that I never ate at before because I never ate there before. But everybody says it's good. And I was like, I don't feel like waiting another two hours for somewhere I've never eaten. So just take me somewhere I know about. And you know what? A girl know about Olive Garden because it's one of my favorite restaurants. So we get to Olive Garden. They tell us it's going to be like a 35 minute wait. So we waited and it was about 30, 35 minutes. Got seated. I ordered my chicken parmesan. I love chicken parmesan from Olive Garden, y'all. I had my stuffed mushrooms. I had my chicken parmesan. Mm, this is making me hungry. <laughs> so, ate there. Before we knew it, it was like after 11. We sitting there chit-chatting, catching up on like things through the years, relationships, men, <laughs> things like that. Um, I really didn't have a lot of relationships in the last two years. I really haven't had a relationship in... Yeah, it's been about seven or eight years. Ew. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> no, it's it's only because I'm waiting for the right one. I'm not trying to waste any more time of my life. So, um, But that's not what this video is about. The video is about my birthday weekend. So after we did that, then Sunday I went to her church. I've never been to her church. I've Normally when I go to Richmond, I go and go to the church that I used to go to when I lived there. Well, 
I went to her church and I really enjoyed it. Her pastor really preached. I really, really, really enjoyed him. So um, me, her, and then the other college friend that didn't go with us Saturday night ended up going with us on Sunday morning. But let me backtrack a little bit. Saturday night, after we came back to her apartment, um, one of my other friends from college was going to meet us there. So everybody was going to meet everybody at her apartment. We get there. Mind you, it was after 11 because she had to drop some clothes off at the laundromat and all that stuff. Y'all, we get there. And her floor in her apartment, because she lives downstairs, is completely soaked and wet. I mean, I'm not talking about damp. I'm talking about you step on it and water was around your shoes. Okay? I had on my purple boots, my flat purple boots that I just got for Christmas. And um, I was like, uh, oh, my God. What a birthday weekend. Water was in her first bedroom. It was in her second bedroom. It was in her kitchen on the floor. It was in the bathroom on the floor. It was in all the way through the living room, in the dining room. I picked up her computer and put it on her table for her. Um... And OMG, water was like, oh, if y'all would have saw it, I should have took a video, but it was really not the time to do it because that was like an emergency situation. So what she ended up doing is she ended up getting the, I told her, I was like, you need to call maintenance. And she was like, um, oh my God, because when we walked in her apartment, I heard water and it was coming from where her heater was. So it it was just coming out. So I was like, okay, that's your water heater. And she was like, they just fixed my heat last Thursday. And I'm like, girl, that is your water heater. And I know when a water heater go out, I ain't had too many of them, but I'm just saying all I heard was shh and water shh. And I was like, oh my God. But when you look in the closet with the water heater and the, and the, and the furnace and everything, you don't see any water coming out, but somehow the water had been coming out since, I don't know if it was since we left. It had been since we left because when we got back, water was like all around her, her shoes had water all on the inside. And she was like, the maintenance guy was talking about turning something off on the top. And I was like, and I'm taller than her. She's real short. I'm like 5'11". So I'm sitting there trying to look up there, trying to reach something, didn't see anything. I was like, my boots getting wet. So I was like, I got to get, I got to move. So the maintenance guy was like, he was 45 minutes away. Do y'all know how much water fell in that apart on that floor from where we didn't know where it was falling from till he got there? So then they finally get there. We had her sit down. She goes to try to get some stuff off of the floor in her spare bedroom. And oh, it was just a mess. I was like, oh my God. Because when I got there, I laid my bag with my clothes on it. And I laid my computer bag, which is this bag right here. I laid this on the couch because when I first got there, I had put it on the floor. Then I was like, no, nah, I don't want nothing my mind on the floor. I don't know if any bug crawling in there or anything. So something told me, put it on the chair. And I thank God I listened to that little voice in my head. I put it on the chair and that's how my stuff didn't get messed up. Because my computer, my laptop would have gotten come would have gotten destroyed because everything on that floor was soaking wet where we were. <sighs> so. It go on and it go on and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to make this a part two video because it was just so much that happened at night. So by happening, we get there and I mean, the people, the maintenance guy get there. There's two guys come in. They're joking like, oh my God, like, what did you do? Break the water heater? We was just here on Thursday. And she was like, yeah, <sighs> to be continued. I'm going to continue this on another video.